Hello, it is Saturday, August the 23rd, 2008. I am one that is. And this is LEGO Transformers 2005 Cybertronian Hyperjet Mode Solar Stream. Why did I call him uh, a Cybertronian Hyperjet? Um, that's totally made up. I made it up myself. It's not real, so don't take my word for it. I called him that because I wanted him to sound fast and because I made him have seven different um, thrusting points for a jet, at least. Thrust points. Yeah. Exhaust points. And whatever. Engine jet points. Uh, why Solar Stream? I wanted him to be fast. And what could be as fast to our knowledge as light? Speed of light. Well, light speeds have been already taken. I'll call him Solar Stream. Yeah, I don't know why I gave him this name. He's all, all fiction to me and to you. Anyways, this type of model, it'd be in the size of maybe a deluxe. Hmm. Oh, you be the judge of that. You can see the, how many studs make this guy up. Uh in the category of three key points to have of a lego transformer his cybertronian hyperjet mode vehicle alt mode uh, holds really well it's up for this part can't really es escape that it just needs to be a little bit tighter it's pretty old his robot mode you'll see in a bit does hold well um transformation is pretty easy you probably can replicate it if you have the right parts on you and I'll tell you right now in just a moment um, yeah I didn't really have to say any bio about him I mean why would I need to you just totally fiction anyways I kinda uh, made a cheap way and had um, a stationary head covering technique which is his head stays in the in the place where it is in robot form, but you just move a piece out of the way to reveal the head. And it's this back thruster part. These back thruster parts are made out of um, droid arms and these type of pieces. If you can see, yeah. It's like a whole spine conjunction. These pieces are made out of um, those sideways plate joints. As you can see here. Also, these are made out of more droid arms and those plate hinges. Also, these hinges. They're really useful because they keep in the same parameter, but they just flip down and up. They just change the direction. Pretty useful. So you just fold these to back and it flips down. These pieces, the plate hinges, are really useful as well because, well, they're smaller than the regular bigger block hinges than the plate hinges. Uh, I wish I had that Lego dictionary, then I could tell you and then you could reference it. Stud friction. Stud friction is when you sandwich a brick in between two bricks, the studs will rub against each other and you have a joint. Just like this. This joint's actually made out of... I'll show you on this side. It's still those, um... The ring blocks, or like the one... The blocks would a hole in it so it could hold Technic Lego pieces just like this this is from um, Lego Technic ball joints yes I kind of did a cheap way made his arms thrusters just like um, movie Dreadwing but that's uh, just a reference so I could relate as I said see stationary head mode I can't turn it this thing covers it. This you can rip off. Also by attachment pegs otherwise in post. I use studs and bottom of the plates. This apart. 
these again by those hinged plates I showed you earlier and it clicks into the chest yes he has a really big chest and a small head down here I kind of cheated a bit and used the mega blocks piece you know those double sided mega blocks pieces I'll show you another joint it's these um, hinge joints that have um, a very it's three on one side and two on the other so it could also go in and out but also turn at each end pull these down more Technic Lego pieces to Technic block pieces and you have his legs there you have solar stream I don't know about the name giving I just need a title to give to these guys so I don't mix them up I hope I showed you how you could make this yourselves and in a way you can probably surpass this kind of level of building please surpass it and if you are successful in making a better creation of this guy I just hope you can uh, show it on YouTube response to this video showing your version of solar stream and over there I over glorified him into a picture I just drew I don't know I needed some artwork to do over the summer yeah well anyways I hope you find this informative in the back of this I was trying to make um, his coordinate pieces where they all are in his jet mode where they all move and where they all end up in his robot mode some experimental faces some uh, oops move this out of the way some color schemes that I tried on for him didn't work for all of them I mean the Lego you always have to think about the end result on what you're making so that he doesn't end up multicolored and I mean technicolored. He has a wide range of movability. I mean you can probably replicate it. Better pieces for you guys. I hope you find this informative and I hope you guys surpass this level of which two thousand and five Cybertronian hyperjet mode solar stream is. You guys try to make yourselves your own. And yeah, this is how I sh show how to build Solar Stream. Repeating myself again. I hope you find this informative, and I'll just transform him back. To have his legs c combined like this, it's like Transformers Cybertron Starscream. But I never seen Hasbro do this with a jet make the cockpit into a chest ooh something new and I invented it anyways click this together I mean, with Lego you can customize it all you want make it better and with um, Transformers you can kit bash and try to make your own customized version but I'm just making up for time's sake So this has been 2005 Cybertronian Hyperjet Mode Solar Stream. I am one that is. I'll hope to show you guys more of my creations. Sneak peek. So sit tight.